Welcome guys, this is Prashant Kumar again. Uh, I'm talking about apartment syndication. I have taken a 30 day challenge. I'm trying to share as much as I can in apartment syndication with all you fine folks. I'm pretty sure that most of you know a lot, but I know something and that's why I'm trying to share whatever I can with all of you. Today, I'm going to talk about closing days just before the closing and right after the closing. And uh, I'll talk about all those things at the same time. Uh, hi, Yanev, thanks for watching. Um, and I'm collecting all, all of my videos. Uh, I'm collecting um, all, all of my videos and in a collection uh, and feel free to send me an email or, or you know, um, you know, put a comment and I will share the whole collection with you, you so that you have all the 30 videos at the same place in one collection. I will share that with you. Hey Raj, hey Travis. So for the next 20 days, I will be talking about do's and don'ts in the syndication business. I will be taking, taking you to a ride on all the aspects of syndication. I will be talking about how to write a uh, pitch deck how what do you need to do for branding you know which markets should you look for how to best utilize your VA things like that okay so let's get to the topic today at uh, closing days and closing days and little after closing few days after the closing so you are just reaching the closing you are a day or two before the closing uh, you are doing the final walkthrough right and you are executing your loans loan docs completely you know your lender is sending you the documents you are you are binding your insurance you are signing all the paperwork with the notary you are ship you are sending all the paperwork right and and just the day before closing or on the closing day you are wiring your money out all the money is being wired out you know your own personal money investors money is already there in your in the escrow but anything that you want to be putting in you are wiring all that out right and um, basically that's about it I mean you have done all the work beforehand um, but now what you need you need to wait from the closing agent and uh, find out whether he has whether the deal is completely funded and recorded or not I know it is more than that but I still uh, you know I don't want to scare uh, every, everybody but you would be signing a lot of papers you know you know all the LLC papers you know all the subscription agreements from the from the uh, investors because all those PPMs and the LLC papers are to be returned back right so you will be busy you will be writing the new service agreements uh, for for the services that you have on the property you will be transferring the warranties from previous owner to your your owner to, to yourself right so you you'll be receiving all the final closing docs so there would be a lot of flurry of activities um, and if you are remote you have to be glued to your uh, computer because that's where all the activities will be happening if possible try to be as near to the property as possible but if it does not then remote closings nowadays work very well you know you will be receiving the you know bill of sales deed you know you will be having your conference call with with the investors right to make sure to tell them the good news you will be doing probably a press release uh, or whatever uh, to communicate to the world you will be posting on the facebook um, things like that right so you will be doing a lot of things you will be hiring a cpa right you will be you want to do your cost segregation analysis on your property so you will be talking to the cost segregation folks. Uh, you will be contesting the taxes on your property. So that are things that you will be doing, but right around that time, that one week, you will feel that all the work has been done and you will try to take a breather. You know, you can hire a CP after, after a week, cost segregation, you know, you still have time. You can contest the property taxes uh, a little bit later but the important thing is you have to keep your investors up to speed right your investors should know what is happening your investors uh, you know you have communicated to your investors that um, the property is closed and 
and they are uh, they are with you now basically and so basically you go and celebrate at that point right so i today i'll try to keep it short don't want to scare you too much my videos have been a little longer but today i will just stop it here um, uh, the only thing is you know send me send me a message if you want the collection for all my videos i will share that with you and i'm 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 just capturing them one by one in in the collection and uh, basically uh, you know you will have all the information for the next 20 days i will be talking in detail about all the things all the things that a syndicator should know as much as i can all the areas i'll be touching I'll be touching, you know, how to pick the markets, you know, what are the good cap rates, what are the bad cap rates, what you should look for in a property, you know, how to write a good pitch deck, what are the things that you need to do for your branding, uh, uh, you know, all, all that basically. So let's end here today and you enjoy your bright sunny day and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much guys, Yanev, Travis, Raj, uh, appreciate it and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.